Hello folks, and welcome back to the Vertigo Tea Party, and let's play Cuphead. Today's episode is brought to you by Travesty. Thank you very much, Travesty, for your continued support on Patreon. Very much appreciate it. Uh, did we talk to this guy before? Well, hey there, fellas. Come watch my little show, have ya? They say juggling is a bit like parrying. Tough at first, but soon you can swim, sting them together swimmingly. I'm butchering this. I'm hoping to get to four someday. Four in a row, yeah. That'd be something, wouldn't it? Yeah, I reread him before. Uh, let's check our layouts. Uh, we're going the chaser and the lobber. Obviously, I haven't been to this fight yet. Uh, so we don't really know yet. Uh, let's go with smoke bomb. I think that's a safe bet. I'm just not good at using my supers, honestly. Um, I need to get better at that. But yeah, I, I, coffee is good, I think. I'm just bad at using supers. Uh, anyway, so this is gonna be Grim Matchstick in Fiery Frolic. Let's see what we got. Oh boy. Oh, this is gonna be, oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, we can parry off of that. So far, I'm liking this uh, gun for this fight. Yep, just jump right down there. Who cares? So how long before these start going away? Woohoo! Ah! Couldn't miss see. I was trying to, um, I was trying to dodge onto the cloud to avoid it. And I did not do that. That's a thing I didn't do. Eh. I was trying to, uh, get to that ring to bounce on it. Eh. Oh, I also did some practicing with parrying. So it feels like with parrying, honestly, you want to do it before you feel like you're supposed to. Like it felt like when I consistently did it ahead of time, it worked more often. Now I don't know if that's the same, oh shit, for all bosses. Oh, you little bitch. Aha! I was gonna run up because uh, I forget the special on the star or the on the uh, homing thing is that you get a sh like a sh it's not a shield of stars but the stars come around you and uh, you can do damage to enemies shit when you, uh, when you run into them and obviously however does not uh, absorb damage I'm amazing at hitting those by the way I'm trying to get close to him. Without, you know, getting all up in his shit. Now, I will say I do not like oh shit. What's the tell for the <laughs> what's the tell for the tail? Whoops, that that worked that worked really well. Not liking the super for this so far. Oh I see it. I see it. That's two fireballs? Nope, just one. Oh, easy. Easy. Oh, and it shoots your oh shit. If you do it again, it shoots the stars you have on you. Getting a Mega Man vibe from this. Ah, oh, you little bitch. I saw him like raring up to do something, but uh, all right. So we we got to the next to last phase. Um, I might swap to the other weapon for the, um, for the super, or whatever you call it. I'm actually going to use the lobber when I'm up close. And then anytime I have to jump around, jump up and jump up and get down. So am I only hurting him on the head? No, so far I think I'm doing damage all the time. Looks like he's got a fairly large hitbox. Oh wow, we got him. See, the damage is is for real. Oh shit. I saw him, but I was like... I will say I don't like how the top of the screen is cut off. I do not like that. Ooh, I almost jumped right into him. Oh shit. So far, the lobber is pretty good for this. Okay, last phase you know is going to be the real bastard. Oh shit. Alright, so I'm going to use this so that I can actually learn what he does. Damn it. So you got to stay ahead of him. 
But I do like the lobber for the beginning farts. The beginning farts? Yes. For the beginning parts. Yeah. I still can't... I keep thinking like I can hit him anywhere. You know, no, no. I'm pretty sure anywhere on the body is hurting. Whoa, that was close. You might have asthma, son. Whoa, God. One thing I say, I will say I don't like is when they use, like, the graphics. Ah, shit, I didn't even see that. Probably should go ahead and reset, but I kind of want to learn this phase anyway a little bit better. Oh, idiot. Wow, good job, stupid. I totally, like, wasn't even thinking about uh, the fire there. Yeah, we kick him into this phase, like, way faster. I don't know where that special went. Oh my god, how did I not take damage there? Skill, you say? Yes. Alright. We're not gonna bother using any more super, because I feel like he's just about ready to go. Yep. Ah, shit. I almost got hit by the fire again, by the way. Alright. So they just saw it drop and jump in a random direction, it looks like. So you definitely want to stay up as much as you can. Oh, god damn it, I didn't see that one, my bad. Alright, so here... I'm just gonna- oh shit, those actually- Oh shit, I don't- I didn't see what the tail was for that, oh shit. Jump, god damn it. <laughs> this is actually counterproductive. Ah, I feel like- I feel like the chaser is actually counterproductive there. I feel like they bought, built this boss in mind with that- with the lobber, because it's such an uh, obvious choice. Whoa, 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 okay. That was fucking... <laughs> I gotta stop- God damn it. Alright, I am gonna reset that. I gotta stop, um... doing stuff off screen, because I can't really see what the hell's going on. But yeah, oh, I was gonna say, I don't like how sometimes I feel like they're trying to do difficulty Shit. by making stuff, like, just hidden by the graphics themselves. That honestly feels kind of cheap. If I'm honest, I see the tail. Whoa! Uh, I keep forgetting, like, he moves. I keep, like, I think when the tail comes up, my brain goes, oh, okay, it's on the cloud behind me. Don't worry about it. But then, like, of course, uh, you're moving. Or the tail's moving, rather. You're technically not, I guess. Well, you know what I mean. Hey, we're moving. Ooh, that was lucky. I'm not gonna use one super here. Nice. God damn it. Ah. Yeah, I really wish invincibility didn't make you invisible. Like, again, I feel like they did that, like, as kind of an artificial difficulty thing. It's like, oh, we're gonna make you so you can't see yourself. Like, oh, come on. Like, really? Like, like that's kind of a cheap way. Like, don't... Like, difficulty's good. Don't go with cheap difficulty. That would definitely classify as cheap. Ah, uh, oh, damn it. Like, I would prefer they be zoomed out here, so you can actually see when you jump off the screen. It's not a huge deal. Oh, fucking god. Never yeah, restart. Yeah, at this point, if we take damage in the first phase, you're just gonna restart. There's no point in wasting time, because we don't... I feel like we... Right in the face, son. I feel like we're gonna need... Ah, oh, god damn it. Nah, I'll keep going. God damn it. I keep... Like, I have completely... I've got to focus again. 
Because like I say, once I kind of get past the first phase, I'm like, okay, I know this phase, it's trivial now. But so then I stop paying attention to everything because I'm like, okay, I want to get to the actual difficult phases. I'm tired of this phase already. So then I stop paying attention to like the tail. As opposed to the first time, I'm like looking everywhere to make sure I'm paying full attention. This is why I typically don't play games where you have to redo stuff a lot. Because I do- that happens. Like, I have no patience for do redoing stuff. So, like, when I'm having to redo it, I get bored with it. So then I keep failing because I'm not paying attention because I'm just like, yeah, 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 I've seen this a dozen times. Let's go. That's why I also hate roguelikes. Because roguelikes are designed around, like, wasting your time. Ooh, nice. Got him in the back. I kind of like this, um... Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, I like staying back to, to, uh, to bait the tail into being in the back, because the tail seems to come up from wherever you are. At the time. Alright, so now I'm actually paying attention for the tail. I gotta get my, my brain into it. Ooh, that was lucky. Alright, no more supers. I really shouldn't be supering on this phase, because I feel like, unless you get really unlucky with the timing, this phase is pretty easy. Oh, shit. Wait, no, it's reset. We're fucked, I think. Oh, shit. Alright, so we're doing pretty good. I feel like we can take this guy. He's not- this guy's not bad at all. The problem with him on the final phase is, like, it's one of those things where you're trying to look to the, like, forward to stay on the clouds. Ah. Waiting for the tail. There it is. But yeah, I'm intentionally staying back now because the lobber still hits. But I can, uh, bait the tail. I horribly misjudged that, uh, that one jump. But yeah, see, I like the lobber's damage. And really, there's no reason to use it over the pea shooter here, I don't find. Uh, just because... Oh. Uh, nah. Yeah, we can't be losing lives here. We gotta get to that final phase... ...with as many lives as possible. Because that part's gonna be the pain in the ass. And I'm trying to decide if I should even... Ah, we'll keep going. If I really should be even using super on this part? Alright. See, so again, I gotta focus, because, like, again, my brain's already on the next phase, because I'm bored with this phase now. But it's like, okay, okay, let's go. Alright. I wonder... I'm trying to think if I should switch the spread, because I feel like this boss... We actually could max hit with spread. Yeah, see, again, when I turn... when I dashed, I turned invisible, so I had no idea where I was at. That's just lazy. Um... Let's try it. It won't hurt to try it. Yeah, this is not a bad boss. Like I say, I feel like we'd almost have him dead already. I just gotta be patient and wait. But man, oh man, those parts are so boring. I really still do... Let's go with, um... Actually, wait, let's change this. Let's go with spread and lobber. Uh... Actually, let's use the regular shot. No, I like the lobber. I like, I think this... or uh, lobber. I like it for this fight. I'm just going to try it at least a few times and see if we can push him into the next phase faster with this. Yes, I do know how to change weapons. Yeah, I don't feel like it's actually doing that much more damage. Well, I mean, um, see, like, there's some bullets... 
at the top. I don't really care if I get hit here. I'm just... God damn it. Well, not that bad. I'm just gonna see, like, how fast I theoretic... All right, all right, I know how to switch weapons. I'm just trying to get him, like, theoretically over as fast as possible. Yes, if you duck... Oops. Almost died. Uh, yeah. Don't wait to the last second. Do it before you think you need to. I gotta remember that. Yeah, the only problem with that is the lava. Or, um... The tail. Yeah, <laughs> whoops. Ha, <laughs> nice. I also used it as the most 100% opportune time. You like that? I might change our super out as well, since we're not really charging it that much. Like, if I was using coffee, I could see using it. And honestly, I actually don't even know how useful Dash is. Let's, let's try that. I'm gonna change... I'm gonna try coffee. Get rid of spread. I really like Chaser for... We're gonna keep Chaser, because I like Chaser for the final phase. We'll keep invincibility again. I don't know how useful it'll be. Like, for that last phase, it could be handy. Just because, again, obviously that there's some stuff there that I still don't fully understand how it works. So then it could be definitely very handy. See, I like Lobber, like, even though it doesn't seem like it's got much range. I mean, well, it doesn't. For stuff like this, where the boss has got a big hitbox, it's pretty nice. Yeah, see, we got him pretty gone pretty quick there. Wow, our super is ready. Oh, shit. I mean, it's last this... God damn it. Yeah, see, you really don't take damage unless you jump at just, like, the really bad time. And even then, you could save it with a good, um... with a good dash. Which I am... not good at. God damn it. See, again, it, you're fine unless you jump at, like, the worst time imaginable. Alright. So, I'm gonna use this, so I can focus exclusively on fucking dodging. Ah! Uh, yeah, and see, there, it actually fucked me. Because it hit the, uh, it hit the one above me. And then that fell down onto me. You like that? So we like to call a lucky guess. I gotta remember, I'm not... Fuck. Invulnerable anymore. Forgot he was gonna shoot another one. Yeah, I definitely like staying back to draw the tail out. Wow. He tricked me. He went high. We'll go ahead and keep our Supra. Again, I'm so bad at using the fucking Supra. Ah. Again, bad timing on that jump. But there's no timing to the the flame guys jumping up. They just jump up randomly. Like, sometimes they take a long time to go through. Sometimes they'll go through quick. Gotta get this done a little faster. There's a little variation on the tail, I think. Ah, yeah, I was fucked there. There's no way to get out of that without taking a little bit of damage. Alright, go away. Damn it, I keep... I wish there was a way that even if you had full... Full, um... Full, uh, cards? God damn it. I tried to... Dash, but it was not successful. Alright.
Uh, not bad damage. Yeah, I still... Mm. I like the idea of lava, but they intentionally, obviously, built that boss with that in mind. Like, that's the that's the main reason those things explode. Uh, is because they assumed that you might be using this weapon. Because if they, honestly, with, like, if you were able to abuse that, or if you were able to, um... Just use that. Uh, Cloud, please. Holy shit. That Cloud RNG. Ah, again, I didn't know where I was. Fuck off. Alright, so now we can actually use our, uh, shit a little bit. Whoa. really like to get this asshole with two health. I think I'm gonna stick with lava. Well, let's try this again one more time. I feel like this can work. God damn it. Whoa. That was weird. Um, let's exit the map. I'm gonna switch. Like, that gun is a liability there. I feel like. And I feel like it'd be easier to just blow him away. Uh, and that super's not very good. It doesn't last long enough. Actually, you know what? No, let's, let's, let's try it again. I definitely don't like it for the, basically every phase of the dragon, except that one. Oh, wait, fuck. I had picked the wrong ones. I swapped the wrong one out, my bad. Oh, uh, one other thing I meant to mention in the other video, um, which probably most people will figure this out by now who are interested. But, um, I didn't want to edit out fails and stuff, so what I did instead was, if you really, like, really just want to skip to the end, or like you've seen, like, okay, I've seen enough attempts, so I want to see the final attempt, uh, I put the timestamp in the in the uh, description of the video. Oh wow, they did that thing again where there's like a huge gap. God damn it! I just had hit max. I think. Yeah, I feel like that could be good on the last phase <clears throat> if I like really get up in his ass, figuratively speaking. Or maybe literally. Uh. Oh shit, no, I should have saved it. Because I'm intentionally trying to get in vulnerability here. Oh, there's no way I'll get it before. Yeah. God damn it. Ah, uh, yeah, the fireballs themselves are a joke, but it's when you shoot them that when it matters. All right, so let's actually try to do this the way I intended it. Come on, tail. Whoa! It went way over that time. So we want to use it a few times here. Well, maybe once. Because I do really want to try the invulnerability. I really hate that you go off screen when you jump high. All right.
All right, I'm intentionally just not shooting when I think I'll hit a fireball. Woo, okay. Actually, I didn't think we were that close. Okay. That boss wasn't too bad. Like I said, um, I, again, I don't, I wasn't crazy about that fight though. Like, I like the mechanics of it. But again, I don't really like when they try to add difficulty by making it harder to see, by making it so you jump off the screen. That feels pretty cheap to me. Like, that feels like a, like a really cheap way to add difficulty. Like, if a game has an area that's, like, completely dark, like, you can't see anything, it's like, ooh, it's dark now. It's like, yeah, it's not really difficult. I just can't see anything. Uh, grim Matchstick. He didn't seem that grim to me. Um. Hello? I cannot press... Hold on, my controller stopped working. Actually, this, this happened to me yesterday. I don't think it's a game issue. I think something's wrong with my cord. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I mean, I don't think it's a bad boss fight, but again, I think it's kind of cheap when... Honestly, a big part of that fight's difficulty comes from not being able to see yourself at the top of the screen. Uh, and again, it's one of those things they did on... I feel like they probably did on purpose to make it harder, but I think that's pretty lame. But overall, I think uh, it was interesting, because like the first... The hardest phases were the last phase, and... Um, well, I guess there's really only three phases, right? There was the phase where he's shooting the rings and the fireballs. That's all one phase. And then he does the little marching fire things. And then he does the end, right? Am I missing one? Anyway, the the only really tough phase was the, the last one. The first phase could actually be a little tricky. Like, that was probably the second hardest phase. Because uh, if you got... Uh, like, if the timing on the tail and the fireball was a little weird... Uh, it could be odd getting yourself in a better position, but um, I would definitely say uh, overall that wasn't wasn't a tough boss fight, boss fight at all. But uh, I'll just go ahead and go through here because we're just going to go to the next area. Might as well show that. I'm Mr. King Dice. I'm the gamest in the land. I never play nice. I'm the devil's right hand man I can't let you pass Cause you ain't done everything Bring me those contracts Come on, bring them to the king <laughs> Okay, alright. Sorry, that is just endlessly amusing to me. I like like being kind of like his... I mean, you could like at the same speed, but it's more fun to go off tempo. Off tempo, right? Anyway, sorry. I'll stop. Don't mess with King Dice, by the way. Looks like I might have under underestimated your cup face. You gave it to them dead as but good. Going over to the next island. Lots of fun times waiting for you there. <laughs> I like how the song says I can't let you through because you haven't uh, you haven't done everything. But you obviously did do everything. Oh. The little mugs have some fight in them. I'll see that much. They're making mitts meat out of them debtors. You see, I knew there was something special about those fellas. Well, don't be too sure just yet, boss. I think there's something fishy about those two. Don't blow your wig, Dice. If those two little finks try anything, I'll be waiting. Ooh, scary devil. As opposed to a nice, sweet devil, I suppose. Ah, Mr. King Dice. I love that song. By the way, uh, well, first of all, you should buy the soundtrack. But you can also find the entire soundtrack on YouTube. But if you enjoy it, you should totally buy it. For what it's worth, I actually did buy the deluxe edition that came with the soundtrack. Because, I, uh, like I said, I like it uh, so much. But uh, anyway, that's enough rambling out of me. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks again to Travesty for your continued support on Patreon. Very much appreciate it. Make sure you guys like the videos if you like them. It does help me out a lot. Leave comments. Let me know what you think of the series. And I will... See you next time.